Let's not shake the remote people. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into this video. I made a lot of mistakes when I was filming it. Uh, it's a hot day. I let the heat get to me. I got frustrated. It happens, I guess. So go ahead and drop something in the comments every time you see me make a mistake. We all make mistakes, don't we? And if you find this video entertaining or interesting or, or maybe you just enjoy some gallows humor, feel free to click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'm sure that I will keep producing these high quality videos. Thank you for your support and know that you are appreciated. Hey everybody, Ben, Somerville Gardener, back again today and I am going to be planting out a, a key lime bush. This should be fun. Since this is part of my test planting over here on the side and the key lime probably shouldn't be growing outside near Charleston, South Carolina, I'm going to go ahead and put it over here on the southwest corner of the yard. And it's going to get planted over here alongside of the house with the ruby red or no, ruby supreme guava right here. I'm going to go ahead and dig it a nice little hole right here, the same as what I did for that one. And here in a little bit, might be another video if you want to watch it. I'm going to be planting another planting right over here, and I'm going to put a little seedling of a papaya in it just to see if it grows. Who knows? Because if there's a chance that I might be able to get a papaya to successfully grow and fruit from one year to the next, I'm going to take it. Now the first fun part of this whole project is deciding exactly where I'm going to put the circle, putting these stones around. It takes 12 of these to make a circle. These are the, uh, the smaller border stones, kind of the, uh, the trapezoidal shaped ones. Let me get these put out. There we go. That kind of looks more like a circle rather than an egg. Ah, that did it. And we'll go ahead and spray some paint around here so I know exactly where I'm going to be planting. And I still got a few rocks left over from the last pile that I made which hopefully won't get too much in the way. But since it's here, may as well go ahead and take all the rocks out of here, put them right here. I need to find some place to put all these rocks. Maybe fill in some thin spots down there. But I'm gonna do another one down there. Yeah, too much of something. What a bad problem to have. I'm just gonna take this black spray paint. They can be any color paint really, but I have black. Just give myself a little high light around here. Just enough to darken the rocks, Oop. so I know where I'm digging. It ain't gotta be pretty. It's all gonna get turned over anyway. Now I'm gonna move all these rocks outside of my circle and go ahead and excavate it. I think we somehow went back to egg shape. It's getting a little warm. Kind of wish those clouds would come back. Now it's time to see if my raked egg will fit a circle. That kind of looks like a circle. Good enough. And now we dig. This is some tough stuff. Oh, more of that green junk. Ooh, a wire. That's, that's always fun to find on the side of your house when you're digging two inches underground. Well, at least I didn't cut through it yet. What do we think this is? Could there be a more perfectly wrong spot? Oh man, I think I'm gonna have to dig this hole again. About two feet over. All right, now what are the chances that this wire is this wire that doesn't matter? That's going off in the right direction. Oh, pulling up another wire. Oh, even worse. That's another, another wire. Great, how many other wires do we have in here? Well, you know me, just always making a bigger mess out of nothing. But what is this wire? I think it's time to pull on the string until we find out where it goes. Okay, I think it's time to just move it on down just a couple feet and hope for the best. Like there's no more wires under here. Hang on, I'll get right back to this spot. Over there. This ought to be a Plenty big enough area. I just happened to find a uh, an old termite thing under here. Hopefully that's not gonna get in the way. So now I get to remake the circle over a little bit. Ooh, you know what? I should measure this. I know, it's a genius idea. But I'm gonna measure it to make sure that the uh, Ruby Supreme Guava over here, the Key Lime over here, the circles are about the same distance. I may not be able to get the trees the same distance or the bushes, but eh, again, good enough for who it's for. 16 inches looks about good. You know, one of the good things about not making a plan is I never have to say that something didn't go as planned. So let's put it about 16 inches. 
That's about right there. Double check it. Perfect. And I might have to scoot that over just a pinch. Oh. Hey, I actually think that looks better than the original circle over here. No egg shape. Okay, now let's do some careful digging. I'm not gonna bore you with this part again. I just wanna make sure that there's not wires in here somewhere. Should be good. Now I've had some bad soil before, but I have not seen some stuff like this since you know, New Mexico, Arizona. And something that's kind of interesting, got ourselves a little bit of, I don't know, it looks like, caution, don't dig, kind of a sign. That's probably not good. I can't really read the rest of this, but I'm guessing that says caution, and that says don't dig. Yeah, just a little bit deeper, it'll be fine. And yes, that is yet another wire that I found. Isn't that great? We're just gonna leave that right there. I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some jungle growth. Where did it go? That I have right there. Mix it up with some of the native, I don't know, even know what that stuff is. It's horrible. And then we're gonna backfill the hole. So much fun we're having here today. And now for a quick little backfill, get some good native soil in here with some jungle growth. Probably ain't gonna need that much. That should be good. And now for the fun part. We get to try and gracefully get this thing out of this nice big pot and into this even bigger hole. Typically I'd be giving the, uh, the pots a nice little hug and then being careful not to pull on the, uh, to the trunk of the tree because you don't want to damage the roots down below it, but I don't know that I'm going to have much of a choice in this one. Let's see just how gracefully we can get this thing to slide out of here. Ooh, not very. Let's see how big of a mess we can make if we try and use gravity to our disadvantage. Ugh. Yep. Huge disadvantage. All right. Hopefully it just didn't kill the tree. Okay, so for future reference, don't try and throw a tree, especially when you're hot and tired. That was, that was ugly. I'm sorry you had to see that. But I make mistakes so that hopefully you don't repeat them. Don't repeat anything I do. Let's go ahead and get this thing backfilled. Oh, it's just a disaster, isn't it? This is probably a bad time to say, hey, like and subscribe to this video because I like to kill trees. I can fuse trees with birds. There we go, that ought to be a big enough amount of a dirt so that we can make our little water ring around here. Try and dress this up and make this look a little partier. I'll tell the plant parents just like the human parents. I am an example. I will not admit to being a good example. Okay. Well, that's nice and party. Hopefully we just didn't destroy the whole roots of it. Again, I'm not even sure that this plant is going to survive the winter, just like the guava over there and the papaya back over there. This is just an experiment to see if it'll live through the winter. If it lives through the winter, cool. We'll have key limes. If it doesn't, I can always just tear this up and leave it gravel. Maybe plant some oleanders over here. Does everything in my yard have to be food related? I mean, I guess that is what makes it a food forest or an edible garden. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. At least this time it can't be said that I didn't loosen the root ball. That one was definitely loosened. Guess we should probably rebury some of these wires. Party. Now for the water. Ooh, I need the water wand. Ah, there we go. Love the water wand. It's like a little shower. Makes a mess everywhere. 
that should probably be good for now. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of entertainment and drop a comment of all the mistakes you saw made during this video because I am good at making mistakes. Even with all this organic matter that I add, which was quite a bit, this thing just is not draining. That's probably gonna be its own set of problems. Stay tuned to find out, I guess. Oh, what a disaster that video was. I honestly feel sorry for the tree. What did it ever do to deserve this? Well, on to the next mess. Let's see what I can break next.